Hello again, and welcome to another edition of our online children's moment. My name is Piers Fetters, and I head up the family ministries here at the Chicago Temple. And it's so good to have you with us this morning. Now, this morning is the first week of Advent, which is the time each year on the Christian calendar where we count down the weeks until Christmas. So we're in week one, and today we're going to look at Isaiah, chapter 64, verses 1 to 9. Now, long, long ago, the people of Israel wondered whether God had forgotten them. They had been captured by the Babylonian Empire and taken back to Babylon to live. They didn't want to be there. They wanted to go back to their own land in Jerusalem. But... They had no choice because now they'd lived in Babylon for a long time. And the prophet Isaiah knew what the people were thinking and feeling. And so as a prophet, he spoke to God for them. He said, God, if you would only come down from the heavens, the mountains would shake. God, if you would speak to your enemies, they would tremble before you we have not heard from you. You have not acted to help us. Not only did the people think God had forgotten them, but they were afraid that God was angry with them. So Isaiah spoke for them again. He said, have you forgotten us because we have done wrong? Because no one calls your name? We have forgotten you. But Isaiah also remembered how God kept the promise that God's people Isaiah remembered their close connection to God. And so he reminded the people by saying, God, we are clay, and you mold us like a potter. Each one of us is the work of your hands. Look at us now. You see, Isaiah had many more words for the people, but none were more important than reminding them that they belong to God no matter what. And God was their God, no matter what. So as we begin this season of Advent, we want to remember these words, that we belong to God, and that God is our God, no matter what. And we know this because God has made promises to those who follow him. God keeps his promises. We know this. And so just as a reminder this morning, we're going to sing a song that's a favorite of mine. It's called Standing on the Promises, and I hope you'll sing along. So just sing with me. Standing on the promises of Christ my King Through eternal ages let His praises ring Glory in the highest I will shout and sing Standing on the promises of God Standing, standing Standing on the promises of God Christ my King, through eternal ages let His praises ring. Glory in the highest I will shout and sing. I'm standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God my Savior. Stand Standing, standing, I'm standing 
Thank you for joining me for another edition of our online children's moment. It's such a joy making these for you each week. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving, and I hope you have a wonderful week this week. Now let me close us in prayer. God, open our eyes and ears to recognize your presence in our lives and in our worlds, especially in these moments where we feel like we can't see or hear you. You are our God, and we are your people. It's in your son's holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.